It happens. I mean, you know, you never know how you're feeling sometimes. Sometimes, you know, we don't get passes when you no, box. No, no, no. And, and it's all, you know it's all on it's all on you. So, I mean, he was able to deal with that. But anyhow. Did they tell you, Tim, that his hand was hurt? Uh, no. No? Because they got to move his face out the way. Oh. Who would you like to see Shakur fight? Who? Shakur? Yeah. Tank. Tank. Who, who poses the greatest, uh, greatest danger to Tank. Uh, not Haney. Not, 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 not Haney or anything? Okay. Tank. I, I believe Tank does. Um, because Haney, Haney is not a big puncher. One. Two, Haney's going up to 140 pounds. I don't think I'm coming back down. I mean, I see all the weight he's putting on. Um, so, uh, but... Tank. Tank's the guy, man. Tank's the guy I want to see Shakur fight next. Um, however, I know I already know what it's going to be, you know. Um, Shakur definitely knows that he's going to have to take short money if that was going to happen. Um, they're going to use that against him. I get it. They're going to say, well, look, you don't sell out no arenas. You don't bring anything to the table, so why? Um, they're going to say, you're going to run all night. You're going to this. So, you know, they're going to they're gonna say everything they possibly can not to, for the fight not to happen, but... Um, I think the fight should happen. I still want to see, you know, who's on the who can win that battle. Um, again, my money's on Shabor. I think the defense wins championships. I could be wrong. Um, Tank is an animal. He can fight, um, but he has yet to be in the ring with a guy that's as smart as Shabor uh, and a guy that's on his level, IQ level. So, um, but the punch again, the punching power of Tank. And uh, my man Sean alluded to this. My man Sean, he said like, hey, this is this seems like a. A, re a repeated thing you know anytime Shakur gets in the ring with somebody that can punch you know he you know he this is what he does you know, he fight off the back foot yeah but how but however um I could just tell you this this guy had punching power all the way through the fight and as a fighter and I fought guys that had that thud all the way through the fight and you're cautious and you don't want to throw power punches because when you throw power punches, you leave yourself exposed most of the time. You leave yourself open. Throw a power shot, you miss. Now you're exposed for a big shot or a big counter. Before I knew that, this guy had quick reactions. You know, uh, this guy can punch with either hand. He felt that. He truly felt that. And so he's extremely cautious during the course of the fight. Plus, on top of that, he said he didn't feel well. You know, I don't know what was going with him emotionally. I don't know what was going, how he was feeling. So that's another thing. And then another thing is is that he only threw like 27 left hands. And I, what I heard in the past was, well, going in from Mark Prigo is, is that his hand was hurt. His hand was hurt. So he had went to one of his sparring sessions, his hand was hurt. And so maybe that's the reason why he didn't throw the left hand. But there's no excuses at the end of the day, man. I'm trying to make for Shakur Stevenson. For me, just for me, I think that he's blessed us with you know, great three or four great performances where he stood and he exchanged with guys and he was confident and he was there and he and he put on some great performances. So I'm not holding I'm not holding him to this performance. You know what I mean? Like I know everybody gonna say, Oh, this and that. Everybody can say say what you wanna say. You know, I know everybody was probably looking for me to bash him and so on. So I've already done that. Shakur's not happy with his performance. So understand that. He's been there before. He's been here before. And trust me, this young man, he will bounce back. So he takes accountability. Of course, of course. But but that's but that's what true champions do. But again, everybody has off nights. I, tonight was his, was his night. You know, it was off tonight. But again, I look at the performances that he did before in the past, and I'm like, bro, I'm still a fan. I'm still a fan. I still believe in you. You know, and a lot of people might jump ship and be like, ah, oh, Shakur ain't nothing. You know, and they might jump on somebody else, but not this guy right here. I, I'm a Shakur Stevenson fan. Um, you know, I think he has the goods, and I think I think he's going to be pound for pound number one. He still dominates 135. Oh yeah, I, I still champion? got Shakur. I still got Shakur because defense. Man, it's, you can't hit him. Mm. You can't hit him, bro. Like, you know, it's Tank got the bomb, but if Tank can't land that bomb or figure out a way to land that bomb, then how is he going to beat him? Mm. You, know, you know what I'm saying? What about 140? 140, same story? I don't know. I, I really don't know. You know, you gotta you gotta watch him. You know, mature a little bit, get a fight there. See how well he does with the weight class. 140 is a beast Last weight class, bro. It is. It's hey. a beast weight class. Um, you know, you see Haney going up there, and he's testing his waters, and he's taking a dangerous a dangerous opponent, you know, and reaches pro grade who can punch with either hand, you know. Um, 
I, you know, I tip my hat off to Haney. Haney's a beast. He, he really is. He's a Tim, beast. What you no, no, no. Oh, that was a yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, bro. Yeah, how does Ben Abidas Poop go tomorrow next week? Oh, yeah. That's a great fight. Uh, that's a really good fight. Um, I'm, I'm leaning towards more towards Benavides because he has experience at 168 pounds. Uh, I would say um, Boo Boo. I think he has a good chance. I think early on, I think he can box. He can mix it up. He can be aggressive early on, and he can he can sweep some of the early rounds. But you know, he has a tendency. You know, this is mo to kind of fade and kind of fall asleep on the back end of the fights, mm. on the back end of his fights. And he did that at 160. He did that at 54 as well. So, but if if Boo Boo is extremely conditioned i mean worked extremely hard if he's in tip-top shape um you know he can and if he can stay on his feet and not get dropped or knocked down you know and, and at least win seven rounds out of, out of out of 12 he can win the fight but again i'm that 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 motor gets going that punching power that consistency the of uh, yeah and the volume and and just the punch choices that that uh benavides make and he has, because he has a full arsenal, and he changes speeds up on, on you too. You know, I gotta go with that. What about Benavidez Charlo? Charlo? I don't I don't know. I'm out of here. Okay. Thank you, Tim.